We welcome you on this Sunday afternoon from American Family Field. Chicago White Sox and the Milwaukee Brewers. The Brewers ace on the mound. Yeah, Freddie's been outstanding his last two starts, but no run support, zero. With great strikeout potential, especially against this White Sox lineup. This is the worst lineup statistically in the major leagues. Freddie Peralta takes care of business to start it. Strikes out Tommy Pham, and that's how the day began. Nicky Lopez getting the start at second base today. And that is lined into right. Nicky Lopez continues to pull the ball into right field. A good sign for this lineup. Corey Jolks has been a huge spark for this offense for the White Sox. And he sends that one into right field. Lopez made the wide turn. But we'll get back to the bag at second. Three hitters, two hits. The White Sox with two on and one out. That one gets away from Contreras, and both runners will advance. That most likely will be a wild pitch as Peralta airmails the catcher. Shaky start here for Freddie Peralta. And a 3 0 count to a pretty good power hitter. You got to be careful here. She did a home run in yesterday's game. Swinging on it and delivers into right. Terrain couldn't get it. Lopez will score as they hold jokes at third. That's the White Sox, a 1 0 lead here in the first. So a job well done executed on three and oh how about this start from the White Sox with a 10 game losing streak Chris Hook with a first inning visit to the mound lifted in the air to right Jokes goes to the bag at third to tag catch made by Churio and Jokes will score without a throw Two nothing Sox lead it here in the first Paul DeYoung drives in the second run ball for Peralta Walks Corey Lee start to worry when you drift in to the 40 pitch count and that one's in there called strike three and the inning is over 43 taxing pitches for Peralta the White Sox get only two Nick Destrini going to the mound and this is his fifth start looking for his first win ERA a lot higher than he would like and it's been command so a lead off walk for Terrain here in this bottom of the first slider grounded to third this could be two one and second over to first double play. Nicely started by Lenin Sosa at third. Just around the horn double play. You could not have dialed up a better result. And there's a swing and a one hopper to Lopez at second. Lots of time. And he gets him at first. Another off speed pitch. And gets out of this first inning. White Sox with a 2 0 lead. See if Freddie can settle things down here. Swing and a miss from Sosa starts the second inning. And Peralta with three strikeouts now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Peralta picks up his third consecutive strikeout. He's got the first two K's in the second inning. And he got him. It's a foul tip right into the middle of Contreras. That's more like it. Freddie Peralta comes right back, strikes out the side. Needed that inning. Two gone, nobody on for Joey Ortiz. Yeah, really swinging the bat well, taking the baseball to the opposite field, right center field power. There's a line drive, base hit to right. Joey Ortiz keeps on hitting. Seven hits now on the home stand. That's what I'm talking about, that right field stroke for Joey Ortiz. This is the kind of guy that Jake Bowers can certainly square up. And Bowers down the right field line with Ortiz on the move. That's going to fall fair. Ortiz around third, he'll score easily. Bowers in the second. A two out, two strike RBI double. And the Brewers are on the board for the first time. Yeah, 3 2, two outs. Ortiz running on the pitch. Check this one out. Didn't move an inch. And Bowers able to hit it hard down into the right field corner. Brewers on the board. McCow to hit him. Yeah, Sanchez hit by a pitch. And now first and second with two outs. The last three batters have reached against Mastrini. And the number nine man in the order, Jackson Chorio, is going to be the batter. First ball swinging. Chorio in the deep left field. It is gone. Jackson Chorio flips the scoreboard with a three run homer. Sixth home run, his first since May 15th, and he gives the Brewers a 4 to 2 lead. Paul DeYoung with a sack fly RBI driving in the second run of the game for the White Sox in the first. This one hit well to right field. Churio backing up, and it is out. Paul DeYoung continues to lead this team with home runs, his ninth of the season, and this was a power shot. Fly ball out into right, and it's gone into the bullpen. So DeYoung with his second home run this weekend and it's four to three. Yeah, Freddie already at 83 pitches as we work here in the fourth. 43 of those coming in the first inning. Struck him out with a heater. He just blew it by Sosa. Pitch number 89 in the game. Strikeout for Peralta. That's his sixth K. So Freddie Peralta back on the mound starting
starting his fifth inning. Pitch count is high, but he has been efficient since a 43 pitch first inning. Swing and a miss, strike three. Peralta's had his number today. Three strikeouts among the seven overall. Bouncer back up the middle and the charge and the play by Willie Adamas. No problem. That was easy. Three up and three down, including another strikeout. Kevin Herget will take over. It'll be his fourth game as a Brewer, facing Corey Jolks to start this setting. And a swing at a miss. Herget change up gets the strikeout. Nice pitch. One out here in the sixth inning. Called strike three. Sheets is rung up. Surprised him with a fastball that time. And back to back K's for Herget. And that's in there. A called strike three. Another changeup. Beautiful. Kevin Herget strikes out the side in the sixth inning. Justin Anderson comes out for the eighth time. We saw him in the ball game yesterday. Two men are out. Here is Jackson Churio. Has had the big home run in this game. Bouncing ball to third. Long throw by Sosa. And Churio is safe. He beat it out. He was sniffing a base hit. Infield single for Jackson Churio. So it's a base runner for Terang with two outs. Terang base hit left field. First ball swinging. Bryce Terang with his first hit of the game on base for the second time. He was scored four runs in the second inning after two were out and nobody on. Runners are moving. Well hit. To right center. Fletcher. Fletcher just robbed it. Oh, I love it. Oh, what a catch by Dominic Fletcher. He may have taken away a home run. Dominic Fletcher keeps the White Sox in the game here in the seventh. Wow. Said so he missed badly here. He has issued back to back walks. But now the White Sox have the tie and go ahead runs aboard. And now Enoli Paredes is coming in. He has been very good here with the Brewers in his four games. So here is Lopez. He shows bunt and it's out of the glove of Contreras. Remillard to third, the throw, and he's out. Oh my goodness, what a play. The ball got away from Contreras. And Contreras just threw him out. Well, you got to make sure you're going to be able to make it easily at third on a play like that. That is a huge break for the Brewers. Lopez sends this one deep to right center field, running his Cheerio, and it's going to drop. It will get over the wall, and an unlucky bounce for the White Sox because if that stays in play, you would think Tommy Pham would score. Let's look on the bright side. Second and third with one away. Puts the tying and go ahead run in scoring position. And Jones. Skies one to left. Yelich coming in. Fam at third. He's going to test him. Here's the throw. Yelich on a hop. The tag. He is out. A double play to end the inning. Tommy Fam is upset. Yelich cuts him down. Strong man. He didn't like Contreras barking at him. Yeah, that was it. But the inning is over. The tag. Got him at home. Wow. From the outhouse to the penthouse. And the Brewers end up allowing nothing. And Ortiz draws the walk, so Brevia comes on. That was the matchup that Grafol wanted. Base is loaded. Who's trying to bust it open right now? Two outs. Here's Sanchez. He is 0 for 2 today. Hit by a pitch in the second and scored. Sanchez, a little cue shot's gonna fall on base hit. Adonis is in. Freelick is in. And Gary Sanchez comes through again. Again in the eighth inning, Sanchez drives it a pair. Six to three, Milwaukee. Boy, how clutch can you be when your team needs you most? A little bit of insurance runs. This will be a really good win for the Brewers, given the fact that they're able to get through this game without using their A frontline relievers. On the ground, Ortiz fires in time, and the Brewers win. The Brewers sweep the White Sox. A six and one homestand. And the Brewers go to 36 and 23. 13 games over 500.